Hi and welcome back to getting the best from your graphics exam. Um, this is the session on color theory. So color theory, we've already dealt with graphics drawing modes and design principles and later on we're going to deal with instrumental third angle orthographic projection but for now color theory. So let's go have a look at it. Alright, so, so here you've got a color wheel and uh, you can see that um, you know, there's lots of different colors all the way around, and each one sort of blends neatly into the other. Um, and then there are some different types of colors. So, for example, red, uh, yellow, and blue, which I'll just highlight here. Red, yellow, and blue, or yellow, red, and blue are your primary colors. So they're primary colors. What that means is you can't, for example, mix two different colors together in order to get red. Red is a primary color. You can't mix it. Um, that's of course if we're talking about uh, paints and pigments and maybe color pencils and things like that. Um, what you can do for example though is create green by mixing some yellow and some blue. In the same way orange uh, is created by yellow and red and purple is created by red and blue. Um, so then there's some other relationships inside of, um, inside of the color wheel, and that is the idea of complementary colors. So purple is the complementary color to yellow. So I'll just um, indicate that. So here, so purple and yellow are complementary to each other. So that means that if you have a big yellow, a large area of yellow, and you add some purple into it, or you add a little dot of purple, for example, it enhances the yellowness of the yellow, and vice versa. Um, they, this is uh, used in, um, uh, in the meat industry, so if you're a butcher, you know that by putting some greenery, even if it's plastic, next to your meat, it will look redder, because green is a complementary color to red. Uh, and the same goes with orange and blue, obviously. Um, all right, good. So let's rub that stuff out again. Um, so there are also tertiary colors, but we don't really need to deal with those. Um, so that's basically, you know, this yellowy green, um, this yellowy green here, and this yellowy orange, and the ready orange, and etc. etc. All right. So what you need to remember is primary colors: yellow, red, and blue, and complementary colors or secondary colors: green, orange, and purple. And that's basically it. Now I'm going to show you something that's going to confuse things. It's just as an aside. So really, this is the color wheel that you need to remember, that you need to know how it works. I'm now going to show you two other com color um, systems. The red, green, blue one here, and the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black one. The K standing for black, I think. I, I don't know why they don't use a B, but anyway. So the RGB and the CMYK. So how are these different from our original color wheel? Well, in this one, red, green, and blue are the primary colors. So in fact, if you... Uh, so, so the RGB, by the way, is about light. So light colors. So for example... Um, on your um, on the screen that you're watching this video on, you will have a whole lot of pixels. So there'll be you know thousands and thousands of pixels. They're all very very close together, and each one has a different color. And so it turns out that they're red, blue, uh, sorry, red, green, and blue. So you've got a red one, a blue one, uh, sorry, red one, a green one, and a blue one. So if you wanted to, so this area here, which is yellow, I'll just make it a bit bigger so you can see. This area here that's yellow isn't actually yellow. It isn't actually yellow. What's happening here is that the red pixels and the green pixels are both turned on while, while the blue is turned off. In this white area, in this area that's white, all the pixels are turned on. So all the, re all the red ones, all the green ones, and all the blue ones. So that's how light works. Light, in a sense, is additive. So if you add a green to red, you get a yellow color, so a lighter color, as it were. As opposed to that, in the in the mixing of pigments, what you've got is a um, 
as a subtractive system. So if you'll notice, between yellow and red, orange is somewhat darker, as in it collects more light and it, le and it reflects less light. So if you think of a yellow object, yellow objects, actually they're not yellow. What they are is a, an object that absorbs all the light except for the yellow light, which is um, reflected back. Whereas a red object is one which, which absorbs all light except for, red, red, for the red um, light. And so if you mix the two together, they actually absorb all the yellow, or some of the yellow light and some of the red light, and you end up with this orange tone. Whereas in light, when you add these two th things together, so you, if you add a red light and a green light together, what you get is a yellow light. So I'll let me just uh, make that smaller again. So that's the RGB. So all of your um, displays for your computers on your big screen TVs, they, they all use this this here system, the RGB system. Right. So now what about this then? What is this about? So the CMYK system is to do with printing. So professional printing or even your dot matrix, sorry, your, your, um, uh, your bubble jet printer, sorry. Um, all of these use the CMYK system. Um, and basically, um, on a page of, so if you open a magazine and there's something that's this blue color, it's not actually blue. So they didn't get a, a pigment, a blue pigment, and print with that. What they did was they printed some of the cyan color, sorry, some of the cyan color and some of this um, uh, magenta color, and together they create the blue. And if you print them all three together, what you get is a black color. Um, and so if you open up your printer, in fact, if you have a bubble jet printer at home, and if you open it up, you will find if, it's, if it has separate um, ink cartridges for all the different colors, you'll find that there are four ink cartridges. There's one yellow, one cyan, one magenta, and a black one most likely as well for, to get those really um, intense black colors. And so what it does is, in the same way that on a screen, you get little tiny pixels of green, red, and blue. On your printed page, you get really, really tiny pixels of um, cyan, magenta, and yellow. But in any case, what's really important to know is that this, for, for the exam, is that this and this are not in the exam. This is what's in the exam. right? So make sure that you memorize that stuff and not the other stuff. I just showed you the other two systems as a kind of contrast or to, for as uh, some extra information. So that's about it. Um, so look forward to the uh, next video in which I'll be talking about um, third angle orthographic projection um, and then that will be it. Alright, have a good day.